Hey everybody, it's me, your friend, Verb Jr. I am learning music theory using an app called Vivachi. So I'm, I've completed the course. Um, so now I think I'm just doing uh, practice for a little while. Then I'm going to restart. I'm going to start from the beginning in Treble Clef, but I'm using another music uh, theory learning app called clefs and i'm like deep into treble clef right now and that so i'm gonna wait until i'm into the bass clef to restart vivace from the beginning um okay i'm gonna go back <laughs> restart i'm gonna go back to my uh my notebook vivace yesterday i had my all-time low score of 96 out of 100. Practice. I'm not sure what it'll have me practice. Maybe I should try and change the clef or something. Practice. Out of 100. And then I'll read some of the tutorial. Practice. Okay. C A D. Oh, there was my wrong answer. Okay, C. A C A C D E B A B A B A 
Oops. 99 out of 101. I'm going to say 98 out of 100. Okay. I guess I could change. Ooh, you can change stuff. I didn't know that. All right. Well, I think I'll just keep practicing treble clef because I'm not 100% on it yet. But I got 98 out of 100. That's pretty good. And I can change this key signature to C major, G major, D major, F sharp minor, C sharp, C flat major, all of them. Good. And I could do grand staff. That's good to know, too. They don't go into, like, mezzo-soprano or soprano. I guess... I don't know if... No, I guess mezzo-soprano isn't treble. Treble is a soprano, I guess. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how all that works, but I'll figure it out when I get through the clefs app. So, I'm going to go over here. Okay, 98... Out of 101, or 98%. And then we'll do the tutorial. Tutorial. I'll just read it. It's just reading. And last time I did the... Um... Clef, so I'll read about accidentals this time. Let me make a note of that. Accidentals. Okay. Those aren't playable. Each line and space on the staff is identified with one of the seven note names. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Fox, Shark, Golf. In a piano, these seven notes correspond with the white keys. But it turns out that there are additional notes between these seven notes, which in a piano are represented by the black keys. Instead of inventing new names for, the, for these notes, we simply represent them as alterations of the existing notes. The symbol, hashtag, or pound, is known as a sharp and it is appended to a note name to indicate that it is a semitone higher than the natural note without the symbol. Using this symbol, we can identify the intermediate notes in terms of the, key, of the note preceding it. Note, notice that there is no black key between E and F, so if we are instructed to play E sharp, we should simply play the note following E, which is the same as F. The same concept applies to B sharp, which would be the same as C. We also we could also use the flat symbol, which looks like a little letter B, to indicate that the note is a semitone lower than the natural note it is appended to. By using this symbol, we identify a note in terms of the note following it, and we are joined now by our illustrious soprano singing. T M M I N X. Again, since there is no black key between E and F, for F flat, you would play the note preceding it, which would be the same as playing E. Similarly, C flat would be the same as playing B. This is a piano octave with its keys identified with, with all their possible names. The notes that are played on the same key are known as the enharmonic notes, interesting, which basically means that they are equivalent notes with different names. Whether you identify these notes by using sharps, flats, or their usual names depends on the key signature, but regardless of the name they're given, there are only 12 possible tones in an octave, unless you're studying Indian classical music. They have lots of other semitones. Example 1. Displayed are the notes F sharp and G flat. Since these are enharmonic, they both refer to the same key in the piano keyboard. To play this, we would hit the key highlighted in the green twice in a row. F sharp, G flat. Example 2 displayed is the F flat note. The flat tells us that we need to play the note semitone lower than F. 
This note is the enharmonic of the note E, which corresponds to the key highlighted in green. Okay, next we'll, we'll read about key signatures. We'll do that tomorrow. I want to say thank you for being here. Um, people that we had in the chat are... Hi. Nobody, just me. And then people that, users that were in the chat, I don't want to be here right now. I want to be here. Were another T TV viewer, Bing Cortana, Extra Moar, FTO Payer, Industrial Parasite, Let's Do This Underscore Music, and Nuclear Pigeons. Thank you for viewing the broadcast. Uh, I feel your support. And... Thanks for that. And have a wonderful night.